proc sets scale with damage. But is the threshold too high or too low? Hey guys, it's Dan and welcome back to Unified Gaming. Now, as you can see, I'm on the PTS. If you're unaware what Xenomax Online are doing, they are making prop sets scale with your highest stats. So the idea is that your weapon or spell damage, whatever's higher, will scale the damage proc. Different procs scale different ways. So if it's a healing proc, it's with your max resources and so on. All the details are down below in the description. There's a link to the notes yourself. Or you can check our previous video if you have missed it. But what does this mean for you and for the gameplay? Well, if I turn on Major Sorcery, my spell damage currently is at 4,400. With Major Sorcery, it's now 5,300. And you'll see that our Winterborn proc is now 6,659. So it goes up with our damage, which is great. It's what we've been after. And every set lists what they scale with. So this tells you that it goes up with your highest weapon or spell damage. The question though is, is the threshold too high or too low? As of week three of the PTS, they have changed their scaling. In order to hit the same value on the live server, you have to have 6,574 weapon or spell damage. It doesn't matter which one it is, but one of them has to be at that value. If they are below it, your proc set will do less than what they do on the live server. If your value is above that though, your proc set does more damage. So what I want to test in this one is, can we hit those values easily or not, with proc builds maybe? And if not, how could we adjust it and give feedback and just advice to Xenomax Online? And if you like these types of videos, then make sure that you do like, you do comment, and more importantly, you do subscribe, as we've got much more on the way, and I'd hate for you to miss out. So for this one, what are we doing build-wise? It's really simple. I'm on a magic build, and I will switch it to a stamina one in a moment. We are stacking spell damage as high as we can get it. The question is, can we get to this number easily, 6,574? And if not, then how much damage do we really lose? We're using the Master's Perfected Inferno Staff. This has spell damage on it and that nice buff. We have Clever Alchemist. This uses a Berserk list, so when we're light attack, my damage will go up. And it also has a really big proc for damage if we use it. We have Balorg, which is just crazy damage and pen. And then I have one proc set as the kind of benchmark to see, can I hit the threshold with one proc, maybe two procs? And then for the jewelry, we are using Clever Alchemist, all infused, all spell damage. For the Mundustone, we are using the Apprentice. And for my race, I am in fact a Dark Elf. This gives me weapon and spell damage, so we can use this for both builds. As for skill wise, I've chosen a class that's a uh, Nightblade. They have no boost to weapon or spell damage. So if your class has that, you can obviously add a little bit more to your tool dips that you see. But can we hit the threshold? So very simply, on the front bar, I have access to Nernhound. And my spell damage at resting is 4,484. Now, what does that mean for the proc set? Well, Winterborn on live normally has a tooltip of around seven to 8,000. So we're missing about 2,000, 3,000 damage on this. It's about a 40% nerf. So if your spell damage is around 4,000, you're gonna see about a 40% nerf, but if your spell damage is higher, the nerf will be less. Let's put on Major Sorcery and see what happens now. Our spell damage is now 5,300. This is very high, by the way. And our proc is now on 6,659. And yes, I do have some CP in as well. I've got Untamed Aggression, Deadly Aim, Master at Arms, and Biting Aura. So the CP is buffing it too, and that's still not a really high tooltip. I'm gonna take the CP out now, just for those people curious for Battlegrounds and stuff, for example. So we're just gonna go through and reset everything. That's all of my CP taken out. So, 4,160 spell damage on the back bar, 4,300 in the front bar. Our proc now, 
4,800. Not really high, is it, in OCP? With our major sorcery, it's now at 5,800, so that's quite a nice jump. But it's still not the 7,000 we see on live, so it's still pretty low. Let's put on our Berserk Lift 2. We now have a tool tip of 6,300. Again, we're still below that typical value we see on live. So we'll just put with a glyph once more. We're only at 5,600 spell damage. So even with you know infused spell damage jewelry, major sorcery, access to my, the uh, berserk glyph here, we're still not hitting the threshold. Let's put on clever alchemist this time. Our clever alchemist is now on, and we have 6,428. So we are still not hitting that value. And there's my um, glyph on once more, just to keep it fair. And even with Winterborn, 6,700 would just get into what we see on live. So now you got to ask yourself this. Can you make a build, in all honesty, that has triple infused and clever alchemist and is able to survive and sustain? I have 1,000 magical recovery with a potion. I'm barely hitting the thresholds for the procs to be what they are on live. If I do stack it even higher though, so sorcery, put on our glyph, and we'll just wait for this to proc once more, sorry. There we go, and our clench. Our spell damage is now 7,000. Our Winterborn tooltip is 6,000 on it. Let's put those back on. Our Winterborn tooltip is 8,000. So, you know, we can just get it to kind of values we see on live, maybe just above it. This is really low, really, really low. And can you honestly say that you can have Clever Alchemist at all times with triple infused spell damage and five pieces of divines and the Apprentice Mundus and a Dark Elf race or spell damage race and the Master Staff to be able to make your procs hit like they do now? If the answer is no, this tells you that this is too high. So I'm going to show you it now, 4,300 spell damage, which in all honesty is about what you see for most PvP builds on the live server, ignoring all the other stats because they would be higher with the proper build. So what would your proc sets look like? If you use Ice Furnace, about 1,000 now, normally 2,000. Aurorian's Thunder, this is now 900, it's normally 1,500 roughly. Lordrian's Legacy, now this is like the 17, 18k tooltip, but ours is 10,000. That's a huge loss. Flame Blossom, normally 9, 10,000, 7,000. Icy Conjurer, usually 20,000 plus. Not there. Fish's Death, we know this hits hard, but 15,000. Just not high enough. Overwhelming Surge, this is normally 1,000. And Winterborn, as we said, is normally 7,000. Varus scale, that's 7,300, that's normally about 10k. So, what is the takeaway for this? Well, for Magicka, they this is not a good deal for them. So, we found first and foremost, Magicka builds really suffer with these changes. I cannot hit that 6,500 spell damage threshold easily without really compromising my build. So, if you're a Magicka gank build, like a Magicka Nightblade with Cloak, you could probably hit the procs and still use them fine. But for any other class, you will just better not use them proc sets and just go and stat based. You know, that whole build diversity is gone. You're going to be running Necro Potions for the next 10 years. <laughs> it's going to be Necro, Crafty Elfique, and maybe Torg's Pat as a kind of pseudo proc. But what about for stamina? Is it the same deal? Well, I have gone through and kitted up a stamina build. So let's just quickly switch to that via the power of add-ons. I do need to change the weapon damage Mundus though. So let's put the Mundus on. As you can see, it was on the Apprentice. We're going to go to the Warrior. With this Mundus, we're going to also change the glyphs as well. And all I've done is just change the set. So I've kept Clever Alchemist on. I put on a 2H now and we'll see what happens with our damage. So there's my Clever Alk and all this stuff here. All weapon damage and stamina stuff. We're using the Fetish Maul, Nernhoned, 
I then have Balorg once more. I have five pieces of medium armor Solaris scales. Balorg, Balorg, and they're both heavy like before. With this, if you might notice, Savara Scales has no weapon damage on it. Neither does Clever Alchemist. So we don't even have that, you know, that core piece there. So our build currently has no weapon damage trait apart from the one piece from the monster set. So how high can we get this without building for it? Well, my weapon damage is 5,000 already. With my brutality, I'm at 5,947 already. That is ridiculous. The champion points, I have no CP on. We turn them off. And I'm at 6,000 weapon damage almost. I haven't put on any sets to increase this weapon damage value. If I put on the Berserk Cliff, which is just your weapon damage buff on the item, will we get to that magic number? There's a light attack. There's the Cliff. I'm at 6,420. I am about 100 weapon damage off from hitting the cap. So that there is an issue. What does that mean? Well, if I put on Clever Alchemist and we look at the Vetisham more, this has a tooltip of 7,500 currently. Let's just go push, push, just buffed up. This tooltip is now 9,600. It's gone up quite considerably. We haven't used Clever Alchemist yet either. So we're going to put on Clever Alchemist this time. And now our tooltip is now 10,976. This has gone up massively. And you can see our weapon damage is at, at a tasty 7,300. So all I've done is just use Clever Alchemist with all infused weapon damage and just the Berserk Lift and I'm getting 7,000 plus weapon damage. I'm not even building for this and I'm well over the cap anyway, which, you know, this really beggars belief because if I can hit the cap without trying for it, that means I can add two or three proc sets quite comfortably. So I'm gonna show you now just a few issues and see what you can spot. We're gonna put on our, our Berserk Lift. Our Zavara Scales has a tooltip of 10,098. That's what we see on live. It's kind of reflected in the in our weapon damage because we have almost the cap. If I put this on again now with a uh, clever alchemist. There we go. It now has a tool tip of 11,622 with no CP. Now the problem is this. When I do this again and look at my Things with magic sets, 8,000 is higher on a stamina build. 1,000 higher on a stamina build. Fisher's Death, 17,000. This, when our clever alchemist is ready, we'll put it on once more. I'm also going to put my CP back on now so you can see how high stamina scales and what the issues are. Turn it on. All I'm doing is putting on just the ones that will buff my box, okay? So I've chosen loads of percent boosts because they're buff the procs that we can show. Now let's look at those numbers once more. Our Savara scales. Tool tip of 11,400 what you see in live. So not too crazy. Let's try that again, but with Clever Alchemist this time. Tooltip of 13,000. That's higher than what we see in live. Let's look at our Frenzy Momentum. We'll just get our weapon damage berserk thing on. Our Frenzy Momentum has a tooltip of 10,500. 11,600. When our Clever Alchemist is ready, we'll do it once more. And we'll show what the magic sets are like and what the issue is if you ask me. So we're just waiting for that potion to tick. But the one thing I will say is that magic currently, they just can't get anywhere near as competitive as damn cam with the proc set scaling. I can't get the same tooltips out of them. So we'll try that once more. There's our buff. 10,500 put on our thing. We'll wait so we can recast this. 
There we go. Our frenzy momentum has a 12,409 tooltip. Now, this is where it gets really stupid. So, without Clever Alchemist on, just a Berserk Glyph, okay? There's my Brutality. There's my Berserk Glyph. My Vicious Death has a 25,000 tooltip. This is significantly higher than the Stamina version. The Magic version, sorry. And the Magic version, we will hit in 15,000. All I've literally done is Berserk Glyph and we'll have a weapon damage buff. And Vicious Death could be hitting for 25k. Icy Contra could be hitting for 22,000 on a stamina build. Flame Blossom, 11,000. Lord Dream's Legacy, 15,000 apiece. Now, let's put on Clever Alchemist and just see what really happens. Lord Dream's Legacy, 17,900. That is really high. And we're not even building for this, remember? Gorgeous Legacy, 17,900. Vicious Death, 28,900. <laughs> Winterborn, 8,700. Icy Conjurer, 21,000. I think my buffs fell off there. But I think you get the point. My Magicka proc set hit harder as a stamina build, which that just that sums up the issue in itself. As a Magicka character, we cannot hit the same values that Stamina can on the proc set. And it's for a number of reasons. First one is this. All melee weapons have a bonus weapon damage value. So this has 1806 damage. My staff, which is also known honed, is 1535. 1806, 1535. Same trait. If it's a melee weapon, it has slightly more um, damage. So because of that, stamina typically get around 250 extra weapon and spell damage at all times just for using any 2H, basically. If it's a great sword, it's even higher. It's about 500 more than versus a staff. So that there, you know, influences the results quite drastically. They then have access to the medium armor passives. You know, 10% weapon damage here. Now the penetration, it can help with the procs, 100%. But that's 939, so it's just under 1,000 each. Most people run five, so you get about 4,000, 5,000 spell damage typically. In my 2H, I'm getting heavy weapons. I'm getting 3,300 armor pen. I could also use sword and shield which a lot of stamina builds do. I run Puncher. Pierce Armor. And now they have access to Major and Minor Breach, which basically gives them 9,000 penetration almost. So they can act, they, they have access to pen. Stamina has penetration in the bucket loads. That's not an argument anymore. So the issue is that stamina scales way too generously with weapon damage. And that threshold being based on weapon or spell damage, whatever's higher, really, really penalizes magic builds because they don't have the bonus spell damage that, you know, mid armor gets. They don't have the bonus damage because staffs have less damage than 2H weapons. And that's not even to keep, like, take into account great swords. And all of those small things are small in isolation. But when you add that 250 extra weapon damage and you get the 10% weapon damage on the armor passives, and then you obviously have access to brutality easily on most builds, you will then put, get an extra thousand weapon damage compared to Stamman, uh, Magicka without building for it. And that difference there is what we're seeing. So as of the next patch, your proc sets as a Magicka, as a Magicka character sorry, will do less damage. It is almost impossible to make a viable build where your procs will be hidden harder or equal to live. If you're a Stamina build, however, you can hit the same values without trying, so your proc sets are going to be the same amount of damage, if not slightly more, in most situations. And that there is the issue. My solution for Xenomax Online and for Zos is really simple. If they make it scale with offensive stats, you hear that offensive stats, that's your weapon and stamina, or your magicka and spell damage, you know, those, those are your offensive stats, like your skills do, that will allow you to then balance this properly. 
but at present, as a stamina build, you can hit numbers way higher than Magicka and get crazy high tooltips. 25, 28,000 vicious death tooltips without building for it. It's just really, really ridiculous as a stamina build. If you can barely get 20,000 as a Magicka build, why is stamina hitting, you know, 25% harder? That it makes no sense. So I think they need to look at this much more and change how the scaling works. It doesn't work for Magicka. It really works for stamina. I think it's a good value for stamina, in all honesty. I think keep it where it is for stamina, but you either lower the Magicka requirement down to like 4,000, which most Magicka builds are on, or, as I said, you make it scale with offensive stats, and that way things like Necropotence, Orkin Draga, Crafty Alphic, Bone Pirate, they can all be used on proc builds and still be useful. Because what's going to happen if you're not careful is things like Hulk and Draga, which buffs your stamina. Because it doesn't help your proc sets, anybody using a proc damage set will be more encouraged to use Clever Alchemist because it's got more damage. New Moon, because it has more damage. Even though Hulk and Draga is a great damage set. So that there is just one of the issues. I'd like to know what you guys think though. Do you agree with the scaling? Do you think it's at the right ratio? And if not, then let me know. And if I miss something, go, oh, you know, Dan, you forgot to show, or did you consider? Let me know in the comments below because I might have missed something. But I hope I got the point across clearly that Magicka are really getting the short end of the stick here once more. And Stamina just will reign supreme with proc sets, as well as crazy high stats because, yeah. But anyway, I've moaned enough about that. So let me know what you think, as I said. And I'm going to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you who's watched this far. It really, really helps. And if you like what I do and you want to see more from myself and the channel, then make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out. And I want to say a huge thank you to those Patreons. Their support allows me to make these videos. So if you want your name featured and access to videos early and all that good stuff, then do support us on Discord and on Patreon and all that stuff. It's all down below. But as I said, I'm going to wrap this one up here. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. And bye.